Settings. To go to the settings page, just hover your mouse over your username on the top right hand corner and click on Group Settings. On the Connect Insights Settings page, you can create groups, add your brand profiles, add your competitors' profiles, create new users, and assign them different groups. So, what are groups? If you're managing an advanced account or an agency account on Connect Insights, you can create multiple groups. Each group is like a separate account in itself. You can add topics, social profiles, and users. Only an assigned user will have an access to the allotted groups. This enables you to manage multiple accounts in a single Connect Insights account. To create a new group, click on the Add Group option on the left. Time zone settings can be applied at the group level. All created groups appear in the groups list. Now we come to brand profiles and competitors profiles. Any social profiles on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, etc. of which you have the login credentials is a brand profile. And when you don't have the login credentials, but you still want to add and track them for analytics purposes, it is a competitors profile. Adding a brand profile is simple. Click on the Add Profile option on the Brand Profiles section. A pop-up with the list of social platforms will open. Click on the Connect button next to the desired social platform. You'll now be redirected to sign in with your credentials. For example, if you want to add a Twitter profile, you'll be redirected to Twitter to sign in with the account that you want to add to Connect Insights. In case of Facebook, you need to sign in with an admin account of the page that you want to add to Connect Insights. Now let's add a competitor's profile. Click on Add Profile in the Competitor's Profile section. Add the URL of the page or the handle that you want to add to Connect Insights. Please note that you need to add at least one brand profile per platform to add a competitor's profile. And finally, let's see how to add users. Click on Add New User to add a completely new user. Fill the details such as username, email ID, phone number, role, etc. Select the groups you want the user to be a part of. If this is an advanced account, you'll see many groups, or else you'll only see one group. And talking about roles, there are three predefined roles in the Connect Insight system. Admin role, user role, and a client role. The first user to create an account is a super admin. The admin role is similar to a super admin, but an admin cannot delete the super admin, whereas a super admin can delete any user including admins. A user role will only have a read-only access. A client role can only view CRM and dashboards if permissions are given. So, that's all about the settings page. Do leave us with your queries in the comments section. We'll be happy to assist you.